are going to talk about on what is the functional or rehabilitation model of disability and what is the difference between the biomedical model of disability and the functional model of disability. But before we proceed to our discussion for today, let us know first on what is the model of disability. So what is model of disability? Model of disability is a conceptual process by which underlying mechanism which disease, injury, or birth defect impacts a person's ability to function. This model refers to a system of definition and theories about human disability that are provide framework for discussion or to explain disability in relation to clinical diagnosis, rehabilitation medicine, employment issue, public policy making, and other similar concerns. What is functional or rehabilitation model? Functional or rehabilitation model is quite similar to biomedical model that sees the PWD as having an impairment or deficit. Disability caused by physical, medical, or cognitive deficits. The disability limits itself person's functioning or ability to perform functional activities. Then, these deficits then justify the need to undergo rehabilitative intervention like therapies, counseling, and lack in the aim of reintegrating that is able into society. This model of disability focuses on disability as deriving from an individual's impairments or deficits. Where this model differs from the medical approach is that while the source of the disability is individualistic and linked to medical, physiological, or cognitive impairments or deficits, the expression of disability is the inability to perform a number of functional activities. The example of biomedical model is the mental retardation, which is a condition of arrested or incomplete development of the mind, which is characterized by impairments of skills manifested during developmental period, which contribute to the overall level of intelligence such as cognitive, language, motor, or social abilities or condition, whilst the logic of functional approach is to focus program delivery on individuals who need services to function. A crippled person. This belongs to functional or rehabilitation model. A cripple is a disability wherein a person is unable to walk because of an injury or illness. The underlying presumption of the functional model is that while acknowledging the condition or pathological source of the disability, the most important part of the disability is the disruption in functioning. The functional model considers the expression of disability as something that can be treated much like a doctor treats a disease. And it stresses the adoption of a treatment, regimen, strategy or services that improves functional capacity rather than addressing the underlying condition or impairment. The main difference between the biomedical model and the functional model is in the concept of habilitation and rehabilitation. In the biomedical model, it suggests habilitation, which refers to the help given to those whose disabilities are congenital or manifested very early in life in order to maximize their function. Habilitation refers to the healthcare services that help a person acquire, keep, or improve partially or fully at different points in life. Skills related like communication and activities of daily living. Habilitations also focuses on learning new skills. On the other hand, is the functional or rehabilitation model that suggests rehabilitation, which refers to the assistance given by the professionals to those who have an acquired disability in the hope of gaining back one's functionality. Like for example, when World War I happened, communities have witnessed perfectly healthy people 
leave to serve the country only to come back disabled physically, mentally, and neurologically. It was then they realized that not all disabilities are inborn. The rehabilitation model regards the person with a disability as in need of services from the rehabilitation professional who can provide training, therapy, counseling, or other services to make up for the deficiency caused by the disability. Persons with disability have been very critical of both the medical model and the rehabilitation model. While medical intervention can be required by the individual, at times it is naive and simplistic to regard the medical system as the appropriate focus for disability-related policy matters. So here are the four types of rehabilitation. First, the medical rehabilitation. It helps a person better in all his daily physical and mental activities related to increasing the potential capabilities and correction of deformities, restoration of functions. Second, the social rehabilitation. It implies a social life restoration of family social interactions or relationships. The third one, it is a psychological rehabilitation. It includes psychological restoration of personal dignity and confidence of the disabled. And lastly, the fourth one, is the vocational rehabilitation. It helps those patients who can find difficulty to get employment.